Hi, welcome to my video on the Stutig pistol trigger set. Now this is a floaty hand grip that can operate your action camera. Now this is suitable for Yi action cameras, Yi 4K camera, Yi 4K plus action, the SJ cam cameras, and your GoPro cameras. Paid for this item on Amazon at £18.44. I'll go around the box to show you what the box is like. Um, we have a picture of the actual item itself, obviously from Stute Tig and the pistol trigger set. That's what it states on the side, same thing again. And on the back, it actually shows you the actual item itself with the various different cameras on there and also the attachments that you can place on there when especially when you're doing diving and on the other side basically just the same as the previous side this is what you get in the box you get the floaty hand grip you get the trigger mount for your camera to operate the camera you get these bendable tripod legs as well. Now that, when you first get it, is inside this unit. So be aware of that. And you get three GoPro thumb screws, two large, one small. The hand grip is quite a thick hand grip, has a thick circumference on there. And at the bottom of the hand grip, as you can see, you get a lanyard, wrist lanyard, with a, an adjustment on there made out of plastic so the adjustments are out of plastic we have this nice quarter inch um, female screw thread here and that's so you can screw the bendy tripod legs on there or your own tripod on there on this mount the actual body is all plastic with this rubber textured grip on there and the GoPro mount at the top with a concealed nut. Now when you open up the body, you simply twist and this comes off as a cap, which has a nice rubber ring around there. And you will able to store items in there such as um, a key, your rings, money, etc. can be stored in there. Now when you first get this, the actual bendy tripod legs is stored in there like so because you can see there's another female quarter inch thread in the center of that cap and it is stored simply like so in there and you can store the actual tripod legs the tripod legs are made of metal not plastic they're coated in plastic but they're made of metal and it's a bendy tripod legs now they're not very long in length, the whole legs measures four inches in length with a quarter inch thread at the top. And we have this bracket here and that is to store the, your wrist lanyard in there. The trigger mount for your camera is made of all plastic with only these metal nuts uh, embedded into it for the GoPro mount. It has a kind of spring load trigger for your camera, but I'll show you that how that operates when I fit it all together. And as for the foam screws, they are all made out of plastic. To assemble this Stoop TIG trigger, uh, pistol trigger set, you, first of all, you get the hand grip here and you're going to open up the cap at the bottom and place the tripod legs in there like so and screw that down and as I stated before this is how you originally get it in the box and that places straight in there now we get the trigger and we're going to look at this end here and I'll show it to the camera it has these finger mounts there we're going to place that in there like so so it fits in there as you can see and we're going to take 
the big thumb screw, one of the big thumb screws, and we're gonna place that straight in there and just screw down. Next, we're gonna take our action camera. Now, this can be either a GoPro, or as I said to you, your Yi cam or your SJ cam. We're gonna take the fingered mounts that are provided with the GoPro. Obviously with the Yi cam and with your SJ cam, you're gonna to have to put the waterproof case on there for those cameras or the finger mount um, accessory that you get. You're gonna to have to place that on there. We place that now in the first section here and there's some fingers placed within that section there and you're gonna place the camera onto that. Now you're gonna lift this trigger up and as I said, you're gonna place it so it's in this first screw hole here. So, your mounting hole. So we place the camera in there like so. We take the next large thumb screw and we're gonna place that down into here. This is how it looks when you place the thumb screws on. Now, I have to retract something. I told you earlier on to place the large thumb screw up here. I am sorry about that. You, you place the small thumb screw up here where you attach the actual floaty arm or floaty grip to the trigger arm. You place that there. The large thumb screw is if you need to place a light on top here, you use the large thumb screw in there to place your light on top. Now, if you want to place a light on the bottom, you use the large thumb screw to place here. Now you've got two sets of fingers here. You've got a th uh, one set of fingers here and another set of fingers there. Now that is either to place a light on or a microphone on there if you're not gonna take this into water. You can place them on here if you want or place it at the top. Now as you can see there on the picture earlier on what I showed you on the back of the box, there is a kind of dome here. Now I for totally forgot what the actual name of this thing item is, which you can place your camera in and that is what the second hole is for, is to place that kind of object in there. Now the Stu Tig um, pistol trigger set. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it trigger, right? This is how the trigger operates your action camera. Now you see how it has the trigger um, lever here, which is mount, obviously connected to this top part lever here, which is on your button of your camera. So that's where it lines up with. Now to start a recording, push with your finger up. So this lever, best to show you like that folks. So that lever is up, then when it comes down, on top of the button, just pull back and it should start the recording and that's it, it has started recording this GoPro. Now to stop it, it's simply push up to take the lever off the top here and then push back down and it will stop recording. And it stops recording. So that's how you operate the trigger system. I'm gonna get questions asked about this. Does this item float? Now I'm gonna to have to say, I put this in the bath with all this kit on, because this is a Ulanzi L1 waterproof light, and I've put all of these items, including with the, with the camera on there, in the bath to see if it will float. And I'm telling you now, it doesn't float <laughs> with all this equipment on there, so it doesn't really float. Um, obviously, uh, this is really meant when you're going diving, with this, with the whole kit on there. So if you've got the whole kit on there and you're going diving, this is suitable for it. Now, if you're going swimming and that's in a pool and that, it's not too bad, but if beware that if you're gonna go on a boat with this on a lake or a large body of water, make sure that you have this strap firmly on your wrist when you have this because it does feel quite weighty with all the uh, attachments on there. And I even even got that kind of, um, kind of dome shaped cap on there as well. Probably that might even assist in making this float. 
but take it from me with just as it is it does not float come to the part of the show where i give my two pence worth on the stig <laughs> this stoop tig pistol trigger set oh god that is just long to say all that now I'm going to start off with the negatives first on this. Now the negatives first has to be, if you put all the equipment onto this, it does not float, it doesn't float. And that is the first negative about this thing. It does not float when you've got your camera on there, especially the GoPro here on nine and a light on there. It makes this thing really heavy. So I suggest that when you are going to, if you're near a large body of water, use the wrist strap uh, lanyard and take the actual, oh, sure, uh, best thing to do is show you guys, and take the tripod legs out. That will give it a little bit kind of buoyancy <laughs> if it will help it a little bit, but um, it just doesn't float with all that stuff on it. So be aware of that. Another negative is it's the plastics that are used to make this. It's not the highest quality plastic and it's not the cheapest um, plastic. It sits just below in between. <laughs> I know. It sits just below in between when it's the making of this thing. So for its price, it is not too bad for its price. But as I stated, that's a negative with that. It's the plastics that's being used. It's, it's not as high quality as say the GoPro um, floaty grip. It's not as quality as that. And of others from other leading companies that do diving equipment. Now for the positives on the, the trigger. I'm not even gonna go through the name of that thing. Right, <laughs> the trigger. The positives are if you're looking for something you want to vlog with and you use your action camera to vlog, this is not a bad thing to have actually to vlog with because because of the trigger on there, you can simply set up your microphone on top here and simply use the trigger to literally switch on your camera and off your camera when recording. So for vlogging purposes, it's not too bad for a vlogging type grip using it as a single grip so without the trigger on there and just placing your camera on top your camera does float and it makes a very good floaty uh, handle now when it does if you drop your camera into the water with this handle on this is what you're going to see so would be just the bright tip orange here uh, that you would see because only that part up here will be the only thing that's bobbing up and down in the water. Another positive is, has to be with the actual compartment inside. I like how they give you a compartment in there if you take off the tripod legs. And even to store the tripod legs in there, that's quite good because at least it brings it, you don't, you won't lose the actual tripod legs, the bendy tripod legs. Another positive has to be the actual GoPro fingers or other mounts they place on this. As I said, you've got a nice mount at the top here to place a light or a microphone if you wish. If you want to vlog with this, you can place it up here. So there's a mount there and there's an extra mount at the bottom here to place a, your light, a, a, a microphone or even, I can't remember the name of that dome thing. If you know the name of that dome thing that goes on top of your uh, camera for water purposes, I think it's to make sure that you get a nice line of water and the camera can focus between above water and below water, below the water line. Please leave that description, in, the name of it in the description because I can't remember the name. Absolutely gone out of my head. But I like how they give you this extra mount at the bottom anyway and also with the extra thumb screw inclusion of the Stoop Tig pistol trigger set. Oh God, I got that the first, I got it the first time. If you're going on holiday and you're looking for something, especially when you're near a large bodies of water or by the pool and that, and you wanted to operate your camera, right, by the, just a press of a trigger like that, 
it's a good item to have, especially for £18.44. I like for what you get, it's better than the GoPro handler. That's it. I was trying to think up that name for that item. For what you get, it's better than the handler because all the handler just gives you is just a floaty hand grip. So it's better than that. A couple of things, as I says, to be aware of is when you've got all your equipment on there, that's camera, light or, or microphone or whatever, this thing does not float with all that stuff on there. It will just sink. I, <laughs> I know it's crazy, but it, it will sink with it. And one last thing, I like how they give you a quarter inch screw thread at the bottom of this thing, but the tripod legs that they give you, once you put all your equipment on this thing, it doesn't seem to hold up your equipment on this at all. You're gonna have problems. So this tripod legs that they do give you is suitable if you're just gonna use the actual handle and then place the tripod legs on there. Now, if you happen to have the Stoop TIG Pistol Trigger Kit, <laughs> I was set on, you are gonna lose it somewhere because of the name of this thing. Please leave a comment down in the comment section what you think of this item because your opinions are different to my opinions. So please leave that down in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos can be long, but I like to go into detail to save you to trouble of when you buy the product, you know what to expect. So that's why my videos are long. Um, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.